Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I'm coming to do another book review. I am reviewing the third book in a series and that is The Daylight War by Peter B. Brett. I just finished this two days ago. If you don't know what the series is about, I can give you a brief overview of basically how the first book starts. This is a world where every night demons called corelings come up from the ground, from the core of the earth, and those the people who live on Earth have to either protect themselves in their homes by drawing wards on posts and their doors to keep the demons out or attempt, if they get caught out in the night, attempt to either fight the demons or create a ward net around them to survive through the night. In the first book, we have um, Arlen who has a horrendous experience with the demons and it pushes him on to this journey of becoming the warded man and the experiences that he has kicks off the entire series and as the series progresses more people are added into the story so by the time we get to this part in the book there are four additional characters who have been added to the storyline and it just makes the story bigger and makes the story more enjoyable and it gives you more to take in as you're reading the series which is another reason why I am fully invested <laughs> in this series. Uh, the book, great. Story, great. Characters, not so great. <laughs> Some of them are still learning their place in this entire conflict and there's conflict on Earth with humans, conflict with each other, of course, because that's what we do, and conflict between the humans and the Corlings, and you're learning more about the Corlings as the story progresses as well. I have said in, when I did my review of The Desert Spear, which was really, really bad, I'm kind of thinking about taking it down, but as I said, I, I didn't like Jadir. In this book, we get more uh, from Jadir's first wife's perspective in Evra and we learn about a little bit about her background and how she got into the position that she is in and the things that she had to deal with which you would think would give you more compassion for that character uh -uh. I still don't like her either so <laughs> uh, but again the emotions that I feel for the characters in this story just really makes this book even greater, makes this series even greater, even more enjoyable. Uh, Arlen has been my favorite character throughout this series, and Arlen does something in this book that really makes me question Arlen as a character. And I have so much respect for Peter Brett, for Peter B. Brett, for doing that because. A lot of times you have series, or a lot of the series that I have read, the characters that are set out and established to be the good person of the story have very little things that they do wrong or things that you would see as just shysty. And he's taking Arlen there and I am enjoying the journey but I had to look at this like am I should I really like you at this point where you are um on some of the comments that I read on Goodreads after I finished this is were people talking about the amount of sex that's in the book and I have to say maybe it's because I have read a lot of romance novels and erotica uh, but maybe because I've read so much of that that part of it didn't stick out to me I remember what was the other book that I read where people said some of the Fates and Furies people, some people said the exact same thing with the amount of sex that was going on and I I, I don't know if I just like it, it didn't register in my in my head as something that was so stand that stood out so much uh, in the story so there is a good amount of sex in this story everybody's getting some and in the time that they're in and what they're dealing with I don't think that's a bad thing and again it didn't stick out to me as much as it apparently has stuck out to a lot of other people who have read the series and read this book following up to it so yes 
this I finished this book with a what the fuck. And I cannot wait to start the Skull Swan. I will not be waiting to read the Skull Swan as long as I waited to read the Daylight War. I think it's been two years between uh, reading this and when I read The Desert Spear. But one thing that I did come to realize in reading this novel versus the other novels in the series is that this is an, like, it's an antiquated system where, you know, it's horse and buggy. There's no electronics. There's no uh, technology and things that is in the society in this story, but it is not a prehistoric setting. And the horse and buggy system, the fact that it is antiquated, that it's not set in this time, even though it is a futuristic prehistoric setting holy crap that made sense made this so much more makes this so much more enjoyable for me that's what I really enjoyed about the warded man even though it took me two tries to actually read the entire story once I got and I will say that if you are interested in starting this series you have to have to have to give the warded man its due once you get beyond maybe the first 60 pages in the story and I'm going off of this straight off the top of my head if you can get through the first 60 pages you'll be hooked because there's so much there's a lot of build up that you're given and it's not an info dump but it's it's just slow moving as far as the plot of the story goes so if you can give it 60 pages if a lot I know a lot of people that I follow they give it uh they'll give it a hundred pages and then I've heard some people who give it 20 or 30 pages to grab their attention and in my opinion if you're starting a big novel you should at least give a book 10 percent of itself yeah 10 to 15 percent of itself before you decide I'm just not going to read it I don't like DNF in books I have DNF two in my entire life uh, that's not true because I DNF some books in high school, but that's different. So <laughs> maybe four in my entire life. But thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, I will probably be starting the Skull Throne before the month of July ends. If you're interested in reading this series, by all means pick it up. It's so good and you will become so invested in it just as I am. And yeah, if you've read it and you would like to talk about it in the comments below, hit me up. And that's all that I have for this review. Ooh, I almost dropped the book. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.